Hey guys, uh, Jamie here. Uh, I was just making a basically an update video here. I wanted to guess, discuss several different things, starting off with the uh, news. Official release date for World of Warcraft Cataclysm is December 7th. Four days before my birthday, I will be turning 26. I can't wait. I'm extremely excited. This seems to be the uh, what they should have done with Wrath of the Lich King. Um, and everybody's quite excited for it, and the two new races are going to be fantastically awesome. Um, which kind of brings me to the next thing. I'm working on rerolling uh, Horde. Um, I'm going to work on kind of showing you guys my characters and tunes uh, video. Of, I'm working on the backside, um, working on that, and I have uh, decided I'm going to be rolling a goblin as my main because uh, ever since I first started playing. Uh, World of Warcraft and I ran into the Goblin Race and uh, Booty Bay I believe was my first encounter. I was like, I've, I've got to play a Goblin. And so now it's finally going to come true. I'm finally going to be blessed with playing a Goblin. I cannot wait. And um, basically I have on the Horde side a 66 Rogue, my 80 Shaman, my 78 Warrior, um, and you can't be a Paladin or a Druid. Um, as a goblin. Uh, kind of the four classes I'm looking at is a hunter, um, which I already have an 80 hunter. I'm quite experienced. That's where I went through most of ICC, um, some heroic modes. Um, and that's around the time that I quit is right when we're getting into heroic ICC. Um, we also have uh, mage, warlock, or priest. Now I've never played a clothy as my main. Um, I've never rated as a clothy really. Um, the closest would be my elemental shaman as a caster, and I'm trying to decide if I want a warlock, um, which can be quite complicated, especially on the multiple uh, specs and this and that. Um, a mage, a little bit more. I've played quite a bit more of a mage there. Um, although I've played, I have a 74 lock and a 71 mage. I've tweaked a lot as a frost mage. Um, it's 29, 39 brackets, so on and so forth. And I've played a lot of mages. Um, and priest. Uh, my highest priest is in the 30s. <laughs> I've never done a whole lot with priests, but a shadow priest seems like it'd be kind of fun, especially if it's a goblin. Um, the healing aspect, I don't know. I've not played much. I like Disc in Wrath of the Lich King. I don't know how well it's playing in uh, Cataclysm, so I can't kind of speculate on that. The uh, only healing class I've actually rated as is... Uh, a little bit on Rest of Shaman, but not a whole lot, and mainly Paladin. Um, I actually started off rather than Lich King as a Holy Paladin, so. Um, that's kind of what I'm looking at, just those four classes. So what I'd like you guys to do is post down a comment below on what you think I should play as. Um, I wouldn't mind being a Hunter again, a Mage, Warlock, or a Priest. Um, any of them really up in the air, I can't decide. Um, my uh, character's name I already have reserved is going to be Bowser. <laughs> A little bit cheesy, I know, but I think it's fun. Um, and I'm sorry I haven't gotten a whole lot of videos posted up lately. I have a really busy schedule. I've been working full-time hours at my job, um, as well as I am going to school online. Um, and college has been quite stressful, so I haven't had uh, a lot of time to post things up. So it's, this college class I'm in right now is just a pain in the ass, because uh, it's annoying. I can't stand the courses. And... Uh, more or less, it's just crappy. But um, other than that, um, I've, I'm trying to think of a schedule of making a couple different episodes of gaming stuff um, that I want to try to get at least three videos, maybe a couple more up a week. Um, I want maybe one other game, which could be anything from Minecraft to Mega Man Legends that I have on my PC to uh, Counter-Strike to any sort of thing that I might post up. Um, and then... Uh, another day where I do something in World of Warcraft, uh, discussing things in depth. Um, that'll kind of uh, what I'll do is I'll start building up and maybe recording some episodes to post up up to uh, the release of uh, Cataclysm. Um, and then I will, uh, when Cataclysm hits, um, it'll possibly be de dedicated to my leveling progress, uh, leveling, things I've noticed, things to do. Uh, 
key items, uh, quests, and things like that that you may want to pick up on your quest from 1 to 85 if you're rerolling. Uh, another thing would be then uh, a third day, which is kind of up in the air, but I'm thinking about a series called I Suck at PvP. Um, I don't PvP a whole lot. I basically stopped major league PvPing when arenas became the norm. I've never been a fan of arena. Um, I have arena quite a bit just for fun with friends. Uh, I think the highest rating I ever got was before they changed it to where you start at zero. When you start off at 1500, I think we got up to 1750 once, something like that. Uh, just casually playing and half PvE, half PvP crap gear. Um, but I think I'm going to maybe make a series where I experiment and play with PvP and work my way all the way up. Now, with this, I don't know what class uh, I'll be playing as. I may do it as my Goblin. I may do it as my Shaman. Um, I, for right now, my Hunter and Paladin are staying on my Alliance side counts. Um, and I'll show you those tunes and everything uh, at a later time. But um, that's kind of what I'm thinking of. And I also have another idea up in the air of starting a guild because uh, past my leveling experiences I'm going to be wanting to run 10 man raids and stuff on a casual basis. Uh, nothing super hardcore, maybe two to three times raiding a week if that. And I would not mind starting up an episode where I raid with people that are competent, um, know their classes, can educate uh, people, and basically work a series around the guild and teaching people how to raid and play the game to its fullest potential on a casual basis. Um, not something super hardcore where we're competing at the top of the world, you know, I I, I did the uh, basically six days a week rating, playing seven days a week, minimum of about six hours a day, and it you get burnt out really, really quickly. It's really hard to maintain that, and it can be quite a bit of fun, especially when you get that one kill and Everybody's just screaming, and it's a lot of fun, but I just, uh, I can't do that again. So, um, you know, if any of you are interested, um, you can message me on my shaman on Frostwolf US Horde side. Um, my name is Sid Shock, S I D S H O C K. And uh, send me a message if you're interested. And again, I'm looking for people who know what's going on. Uh, know a lot about the game, are laid back, and uh, wouldn't mind just starting up a 10-man raid guild for fun. Um, and that's basically the updates worth gaming updates and everything right now. Um, past that, um, I wanted to talk about something, and with uh, as life stress is like for me right now, financial, it's I'm having a hard time staying afloat. Um, School is kicking my ass along with working full time, and then I'm trying to maintain this YouTube thing. So I've, I've just been extremely stressed out. Um, life has kind of been shitty. I, I don't have many friends here in town. The ones I do, have, uh, it's just hard to maintain any relationship with them because we're all so busy. And then um, you know, it also sucks not having someone by your side, such as being in a relationship sometimes. I just got out of a recent four-year relationship with someone I cared really, really deeply for, and I still, do, still care for them. Um, we, my, me and my fiancé, we were engaged, um, but through certain cir circumstances and things, I'm not going to get into all that, what happened with our relationship, but uh, we're no longer together. Um, and, you know, I talked to her on a, a quite a bit of a basis, um, you know, quite a bit. She's still my friend, but you know, being alone around here, it, it, with all the stresses, and you just get so depressed and down, and you never know what to expect. Um, but no matter what, I, I stay positive because I know things are going to get better. I know I've, every video I've posted, working my butt off on YouTube, I've gotten positive responses so far, and I really appreciate that, guys. I, I really do. Um, and recently, um, uh, good friend of mine and my ex-fiance's brother um, decided to end his life and uh, it, it's really hit close um, and it, it's it's just really hard and I, I mean I wish it were something I knew what was going on I hadn't got to talk to him for a long time um, and I saw him a few weeks before he did it uh, I'd say about a week and a half before he did it and 
he was busy, he didn't get a chance to talk to me, but, you know, I couldn't get a hold of him, because uh, I didn't ever see him online. Um, you know, never got a chance to talk to him. And I, I wish there was something I could have done to help. Um, but I, the only thing I can do is help other people. And all I can say is, I mean, no matter how bad things are going, you know, how much messed up your life seems, you know, whatever happen is happening, no matter what, things will get better because there's only one direction they can go. And as long as you're willing to take the effort and put forth the time in doing something, you always have an option. And there should never be a point that you, you should go down this path of committing suicide. There's people all over the internet, there's stories. The kid who jumped off the building um, in Texas uh, because he was basically bullied into it. And there's things like this is where you just have to take a step back and even though there may be someone around you that uh, you can't stand and you make fun of and maybe they're just so different, that's not it. You should just let them do their own thing and ignore them if they, you know, aggravate you that much. You should never push someone to the fact that they're so depressed that they commit suicide. And uh, I know this is kind of turning into a long video, but for those of you out there that maybe need help, maybe you're really downtrodden, you know, maybe you don't have much of a social life, you only sit back and play video games like World of Warcraft or Call of Duty or things like that, and, um, you know, you just need an outlet, send me a message, you know, I'll be glad to talk to you. Um, I, I just, there's no reason for anyone to go down that path. And, make those decisions that affect them and their family and uh, just remember there's always hope that things will get better all you gotta do is just take a step up and try and you know you will be surprised at what you can manage and how great life can be if you just put a smile on your face But I'm gonna go ahead and cut the video off here I know it's getting quite long um, if you guys have watched at the end of the video post a comment below you know um, on your th thoughts and comments on uh, um, things like this and times that you've been down um, and uh, I'll uh, be seeing you guys next time just remember no matter what keep on smiling guys I'll chat with you later peace off